Good afternoon. Today, I'm saddened to inform you that one of our own, a Hawaii resident, passed away last night due to the COVID-19 virus. I would like to express my deepest, heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of the victim. This is a difficult time for everyone in Hawaii, and I know you join me in mourning the passing of one of our neighbors to a virus that is threatening our community, other communities all around the world. In Hawaii, we have a long-standing tradition of coming together during challenging times. This is who we are. This is what makes our island community so special. As the governor mentioned, the department has received our first uh, COVID-associated death in Hawaii, and our sincere uh, condolences to the family for their loss at this uh, sad and, and very difficult time. The individual was an older adult resident of Oahu and was hospitalized recently with multiple medical issues. It's not clear at this time uh, exactly what the cause of death was, but um, the individual did have a positive COVID-19 associated uh, exposure and uh, it, it possibly did contribute. Our staff are investigating the death and reviewing uh, the private laboratory test results. Today we also received uh, the first positive result from our community surveillance testing program. This is a program that's been conducted statewide beginning uh, March 1st and has continued for the last 30 days. Uh, we survey randomly individuals across the state, including Lanai, Molokai, and all the other uh, areas uh, where we might not otherwise see cases. We, we uh, survey those who have uh, flu-like illness where the flu's been ruled out, where it's possible that the individuals have uh, been exposed to COVID-19. And again, this is the first time we've seen a positive result. It's not surprising. Um, of the approximately 380 samples taken statewide from March 1st up through the 24th, we've received this uh, test result, which reinforces that there is limited and localized community spread of the virus, at least on Oahu. This is consistent with what we've seen from recent results of tests from private clinical labs from cases where there's been no travel or exposure to individuals who have traveled to areas where the virus is widespread. So it's fair to say that community spread is occurring, at least on Oahu, but to a, a limited uh, extent. Social distancing is uh, critical and, and important to continue this time. As the governor has mentioned many times, we should behave as though we have COVID-19 and that everyone else around us has COVID-19 and, and uh, act accordingly. Uh, certainly everyone is urged to, to comply with uh, state and county measures that are uh, being taken to address this issue. We have a couple of new features on our website I wanted to talk about. about. One is we have um, uh, developed an epidemic curve. When you talk about lowering the curve, this is what we're talking about. We're reporting now cases uh, that we're getting every day. Uh, we're reporting the date of onset over time, and uh, in that way we can uh, track the incidence of the disease. And you all can do, the, do that too if you look at our, our, uh, our uh, website. We also do, do separate the cases between those are, that are travel related and those that are not travel related. So you can see the trend there, which is a trend away from travel related cases to cases where we don't have any history of travel, which is what we've been seeing over the last week or so. That, uh, that um, uh, epidemic curve will be updated on a daily basis. We also have a uh, case map that we uh, have developed based on the residents of those who uh, are reported as cases. This is the re <coughs> residents of the individual, not necessarily where the individual was exposed or where there's community spread. In fact, it's probably very likely that an individual is exposed outside of their home somewhere else. But uh, we have uh, good information on, on where they are. And it is helpful, I think, for planning and uh, strategic uh, purposes to know where, where there is uh, evidence of, of disease and where people um, are living um, who have been affected. Maps will show very clearly that there are no uh, cases on Molokai and Lanai at this time, which I think is important and noteworthy. But uh, you will see that there are uh, 
cases occurring on all the major islands and uh, other than Molokai and Lanai. And, uh, and again, uh, no one should assume that because they don't live in a census tract where there's been a case that they're not possibly going to be exposed. They should act as though they are um, uh, indeed at risk. Today's case count includes 20 new positive test results. All the cases are adults. 19 are residents and one is a visitor. 18 of the cases were diagnosed on Oahu and two are pending investigation. As far as we know, there have been no cases on Big Island, Maui, or Kauai today. Since the end of February, a total of 58 cases have, have been released from isolation. Three were included on that list from yesterday. I might add that the uh, positive test results are go going to be included in our total case counts as we report those out. And the military is also reporting cases to us, and those cases are in our case count, if there's any question about that. So to date, there are 224 presumptive or confirmed cases, with the vast majority being Hawaii residents. 194 of those individuals live in Hawaii, and there were 20 visitors among that uh, total of uh, 224. Department of Health is continuing to aggressively investigate all cases reported, and we're tracing contacts. We're staffing up to do that. Most of the reports receiving, re, we are receiving today are from private clinical laboratories. There have been more than 9,363 laboratory tests conducted for COVID-19 in Hawaii. And uh, <clears throat> most of those are, are being done by the private uh, laboratories. I might add that uh, with now over 9,000 tests conducted, the state of Hawaii is among the top three states in the nation in testing for COVID-19. In fact, New York and Washington are the only states that have tested more people on a per capita basis than we have.